Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Today we will start learning about model 17 which is propeller. The sir who are going to teach you is very experienced and today he will teach you basic terminologies of propeller. So please watch this video till end and subscribe this channel to clear your modules. So let us get started. Hello editors. I hope you are doing great. Are you planning to give DGC module examination? If you are from mechanical branch of aircraft maintenance engineering, especially B1.1 and B1.2, then today's session is going to be very useful for your module 17 preparation. So let's start module 17 which is aircraft propeller today's session's objective is to learn the basic function and various terminologies which are used in propulsion science if i ask what is propeller so what will be your answer okay let me let me help you with So propeller is a unit which is actually rotating airfile which converts engine's power into useful thrust and which generates propulsive force. Propeller always converts engine horsepower into thrust by accelerating air and creating a low pressure differential in front of propeller. Since air naturally moves from high to low pressure, resulting propeller moves forward. Let me explain by this diagram. So I have taken an example of several blades which are fixed with a spinner. I am taking a cross section of one of the blade. So cross section of this blade is just like an aerophile if anything which shape is an aerophile so all principle will work which we have already covered in module 8 syllabus so here like a simple aerophile the propeller blade has also the leading edge and trailing edge when this leading edge strikes with the surrounding air while it is rotating the air is distributed in two parts one will travel by the upper portion and one is travel in lower portion suppose in upper portion the area is larger than lower so what will happen exactly the same thing which we have already learned that means the speed of air will be increases and pressure will decreases due to this difference in different pressure lift will be in picture this lift is known as thrust in terms of the propeller let's discuss some propeller terminologies Propeller terminologies. Blade shank. The so blade shank is a thick, rounded portion of the propeller blade near the hub, which is designed to give the strength of the blade. So, why we uh, give the rounded shank or uh, this? Actually, this is a designing factor which uh, protect it to be break during the high rotation so we provide additional designing feature which provides its strength blade butt so blade butt is the base and root of the propeller actually this is the part which goes and uh, which is generally used while assembling of the propeller into the hub 
blade tip. This is the farthest portion from the hub of the propeller. This is at the top. The tip is the portion of the propeller which rotates a very high speed. It is due to the low blade angle. So actually the blade angle and uh, rotation uh, both are inversely proportional to each other. Let's discuss some more feature like cord line. It is an imaginary line which connects leading edge to the trailing edge of propeller cross section. The blade angle. The blade angle is the angle between plane of rotation and the cord line. So the angle between cord line and plane of rotation is known as blade angle. So on increasing the blade angle, always speed decreases and vice versa. The blade angle is also somewhere refers as pitch angle. Now blade station. Suppose you are working on a propeller and if you found any mark or dent on the propeller. So the question is, how will you communicate to your manager? To make it simplify, the propeller is divided in several segments and every segment is six inch apart from the other. So suppose if you are communicating like there is a dent at station number two. So it means two into six is equal to 12 inch away from the hub. So station number always increasing from hub to tip. Now pitch. As per the previous slide, the pitch angle is different. I just want to again make you clarify the pitch is different thing and pitch angle is different. Pitch angle generally we refer with the blade angle and the pitch is what? Pitch is the distance covered by propeller in one rotation. What is pitch distribution? Pitch distribution is the gradual twist in the propeller blade from shank to tip. Why we require? When a propeller is rotating, the speed of tip is higher than the speed of hub. So the thrust produces by the rotational speed will be greater at tip and will be less in hub. To compromise this inequality, there is a twist in propeller construction, propeller blade construction. So when the rotation is less at hub, we compromise it by increasing the blade angle and the speed at tip is high. So we decreases the blade angle. On this way, the produced thrust will be equal from hub to tip. Let's discuss about geometric pitch, effective pitch and slip. Somewhere it is also referred like GP, EP and slip. So what is the geometric pitch? We know when propeller will rotate, so aircraft will move in forward direction. But how much it, it will travel? If we are measuring this distance by simple calculation, so we are not going to consider the applied friction, air drag and weight of the aircraft. So in summary, the geometrical pitch is the theoretical distance covered by the aircraft in one rotation, when propeller rotates in one uh, revolution. And effective pitch is the actual distance traveled by propeller in one rotation. When we talk about effective pitch, that means there will be friction, air drag and also we will consider the weight of the aircraft which can vary the speed of uh, the forward uh, distance actually.
And what is the slip? Slip is the difference between geometric pitch and effective pitch. So what is the gap between our calculation and what exactly we are getting? That is the slip. For an ideal a propeller, the slip should be zero, but it is actually not happen, right? So slip should be as minimum as possible. Now let's discuss what is the blade face and what is the blade back. When we see the cross section of the propeller, we can see there is one flat portion and there is one curved portion. This flat portion is blade face and another curved portion is blade back. Why we say this is the blade face? The answer is simple. Our pilot can see the flat portion from the cockpit. That's why it is blade face and another is bit back next topic is helix angle what is the helix angle and why we are going to study over here so the definition is the angle between the plane of rotation of propeller and the path of the effective pitch is known as helix angle and why we are going to study over here because we have to go through why and how the helix angle is generated. Let's see. This is our aircraft fitted with a propeller. We have marked one propeller blade. And now when it is traveling, it is changing its position. So how exactly path we are getting? Is it the circular or it is the linear? No, this is a combination of circular, circular as well as the linear path, which is the helical path. Let me explain some more. Let you see the plane of rotation and this is the forward speed direction. Now, initially propeller was, was at a blade was at top position now it is in bottom top bottom top bottom and so on so we can find the plane of rotation and forward speed direction this angle this is the helical angle this is not constant for every time it always change with the engine rpm and forward speed so this is at the low rpm and uh, when we increase the speed, the curve will be dense. Here it is rear and here it is dense. We can say the helical angle will change when we change the speed or uh, RPM, engine RPM. So on increasing the RPM, helical angle will be reduces. Now this is the uh, another topic, which is one of the very important that uh, forces acting on propeller. There are various forces acts on the propeller which may interact and cause the tension, twisting, bending, stress within the propeller. These forces are centrifugal force, thrust bending force, torque bending force, aerodynamic twisting moment and centrifugal twisting moment. So let us study one by one. Centrifugal force. So this is a force which tries to pull out the attached bleed from the hub. This is the centrifugal force. When aircraft rotates, there is another force acts over there which tries to bend the propeller blade into the forward direction, which is the thrust bending force. When the propeller rotates, there another force will act which tries to, uh, you know, push it opposite direction of rotation. It is known as torque bending force. So torque bending force always applies in the opposite direction of rotation. Then another forces which works on the blade angle. 
one force always tries to increase the blade angle that is the aerodynamic twisting moment or aerodynamic twisting force and another is which is countered by centrifugal twisting moment or centrifugal twisting force which always tries to reducing the blade angle so increasing the blade angle is responsible by aerodynamic twisting moment and reducing is always responsible by centrifugal twisting moment so as of now i just want to uh, close my this session and uh, i will come very soon with uh, some new topic like classification of propeller with the both criteria like uh, uh, as per propeller uh, installation point as per propeller uh, pitch in mechanism right and uh, i hope you have learned so many things from today's session and it is really very useful for your upcoming module 17 examination wish you all the best for your uh, examination and please be in touch with your subject thank you thank you very much